So welcome everybody uh, in this uh, new new Rubismo Cafe talk. So it's this uh, cycle number six. And uh, for this month in May, we talk about innovative business models. Uh, just in two words, I will present Rubismo, but it's not the subject of today. Uh, so we are working uh, on three topics about food, bio-based value chain and ecosystem services to find new business model for rural, rural areas, sorry. Um, and so we propose every Tuesday um, this cafe talk. So last week we had the presentation of uh, Justin about innovative business model uh, from Rubismo. Um, next week, we have a long virtual visit uh, in Poland and Ireland. So if you want to travel a bit, uh, you are welcome. And at the end of May, uh, we will talk with the Ruritage project about uh, tourism and community. And so today uh, we have a presentation of Marike and Katia from Smart Chain Project. Uh, so I will let, her the, let them the floor and uh, I will let you present the, the project. Oh, sorry, I have to stop. And normally you have the floor is yours. So I let you present the Smart Chain project on results. And thank you very much okay. to be here today. Uh, well, perfect. We well, yeah, screen. you can see my screen. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so welcome and thank you for this uh, invitation. I think it's a good idea to organize this cafe talks. My name is Marike Lameres. I'm working from the Dutch Bakery Center. And besides my work for the NBC um, as a business consultant, I'm also working in the short food supply chain myself. Together with local farmers, we boost the growth and demand of organic lupin beans for human cons uh, consumption instead of importing soy. But today I will talk about the reference business models we've created during the Smart Chain project. And Katja De Luca, our partner in this project, will present some recommendations for implementation of these business models. First, something about the Smart Chain project. Smart Chain aims to foster and accelerate the shift towards innovative and collaborative short food supply chains in Europe. And the consortium includes 43 partners from 11 countries including key stakeholders from the domain of short food supply chain as actors of the project, and in particular, 18 case studies. And creating business reference exploitation models is part of the project. So what's the idea of these business uh, reference exploitation models? First, uh, we're using Canvas methodology I think uh, Justin uh, did his talk about last week, and we created a business model template and filled it in for all the 18 smart chain case studies. And then we used Canvas methodology again, and we created five reference exploitation models based on confluence points of these 18 case studies. And we identified five models, a cooperative of producers, the individual producers, community supported agriculture, online and offline marketplace, and promotion of on farm selling. And these models are not specific business models, but these are outlining possible ways and new directions for short food supply chain. And whether you're a farmer, policymaker, producer, tourist organization, there are different ways and roles for doing business in short food supply chain. And each of the reference model has a focus on eliminating particular aspects in the model that stands out versus other models. So in the next slide, I will explain the main characteristics of each model. And the first is a cooperative of producers. A cooperative of producers allows its members who produce the same or similar products to cooperatively produce, process, distribute, market, and sell the products. And the results are more food safety, a wider range of products, production on a bigger scale, and consumers may find value in a specific brand identity, such as um, uh, BioFreed Swiss. This is an example of our project 
and some producers of the organic, uh, some uh, organic fruit producers in the Valais region in Swiss decided to join forces and founded BioFruits. And within this brand, they created a modern tool for organic farming in the region. And they opened a shop for direct sales. And later, they also want to valorize their third category fruits. And BioFruits established a fruit press dedicated to creation of juices and nectars. And together, they were able to make this possible. So typically, this model is chosen when production and processing is relatively expensive and can be difficult to source as an individual. And moreover, when marketing and selling are combined, it is possible to develop more and different sales channels. And the next is about individual producers. And many farms are operated as individually owned business. The individually owned business is probably the oldest and most common form. One person, a family or a small group of people owns, controls and conducts the business. And individually producers typically have a rich family heritage and relatively simple and inexpensive produce, um, uh, processing and distribution is required. And sales channels are typically an online or on-site farm shop. And besides farming, we see new activities on these farms, such as a place to educate or preserve, preserve nature. And these activities lead to more engagement from the social community and are an opportunity for new revenue streams. And in this example is, you see Bauke van Veen. He is the owner of Vlees Co. And Vlees Co provides natural grass-fed meats sourced from cows, bulls and sheep that roam in nature parks in the Netherlands. And Vlees Co sells directly to consumers and restaurants. And the third exploitation model, reference model, is the community-supported agriculture or CSA. And this model is based on solidarity through a partnership between members and farmers. Members share the cost and risk of food production by making a commitment to pay a certain amount of the farm to the farm each year. This gives the farm a predictable income. The CSA uh, has been in place for many farms in, for some time now in Europe. And the traditional model placed substantial emphasis on sustainable agriculture, shared production risk, consumer involvement with production activities, and authenticity of local sourcing. And over the years, different types of CSA have evolved. A subscription model, where subscription-based contracts for the produce of the land, or a shareholder, shareholder model, you buy shares and produce from the land, or a community model. You invest and operate on the farmland and share the produce with the community. And in this example, we have the Solawi. This is the national concept of CSA in Germany. And almost every country has its own CSA coordinating center. And you see then at the local level, your the own different forms of CSA in different ways. Another model is marketplaces online and offline marketplaces offer independent producers a physical and or online platform and a marketplace and marketing and sales knowledge to sell their goods 24 7 without the burden of a brick and mortar store and consumers may find a wide variety of goods from different producers and two examples we have the Food Hub in Budapest, Hungary. It provides a platform for fresh, organic and farm source products and makes them available for anyone who lives in the city of Budapest. Here you see this market. And later they formed an alliance with an online company who designed an online marketplace. And another example of a well-functioning online marketplace is the Hermenius platform in Spain. Sellers and buyers, buyers contact directly to buy and sell products and everybody can open 
his own shop at the platform. And then the last model, it's about promotion of on-farm selling. This model has the primary objective to promote and support on-farm and online selling of individual producers and to improve the visibility of the farm. At the moment, these promoting organizations conducting also marketing research, for example, on consumer behavior, and then they share the knowledge with individual producers, and this will add value for the producers. And this model is functioning at a local, regional, or at a national level. And these organizations and initiatives are typically supported with public funds. For example, you see here on the left space, this is the Zala Open Farms. They promote buying and visiting the farms in the Zala region. In and another example on the national level is Einkaufen auf dem Bauernhof. This is, means shopping at the farm. And it is a support community uh, for direct marketing and products. This community is organized via several farmers associations and the agricultural chambers of the federal states. And now the floor is for Katja to take recommendations for implementation. Thank you, Marike. Uh, good morning to everybody. Um, thank you for the invitation too. Uh, my name is Katia and I work for Lega Coop Puglia, that is an association of one of the, of the association of cooperative enterprises uh, in Italy. Uh, and in Smart Chain Project, uh, we are working uh, together with NBC and uh, Marika in strong connection uh, to produce this business recommendation and tips for uh, improving and implement uh, these reference business models. Um, so I, uh, today I will present just some examples of recommendations and tips, but to get the full uh, guide on the smart chain platform as soon as we published it, uh, I think in a couple of months. As you can see, we use the, the business model canvas uh, uh, model. And we um, start from the value proposition, so uh, in, in the middle. And then on your left, you can find the components that are involved in the production. And on your right, uh, what you need to transfer your value to uh, customers. Uh, so in this first slide, you can see some generic recommendation and tips that mostly are common to all um, um, models that Marika has already presented. And so, for example, let's start uh, from value proposition. Um, uh, you, you can clearly express your specific value proposition to consumers, um, tell stories about products and values, establish participatory forms of labeling, for example, involving customers to define what they want to know uh, when they read the labels. Um, about cares, for example, promote and manage local networking initiatives and education programs. Uh, about the resources, try to engage um, young entrepreneurs, foster forms to peer-to-peer -peer learning for transmission of knowledge, invest on a fundraising strategy. Uh, some of these uh, tips are specific, uh, can be also adapted to specific business model and can also be uh, improved in a better way in specific models. For example, in, if we speak about try to engage young entrepreneurs, this can also be uh, more useful for community supported agriculture. Um, please, next. Okay, thank you. And in this slide, you can see specific recommendation and tips for each business model archetype. These are some examples again. Um, the symbols in these sneakers, uh, stickers represent the different business model. And we crossed them with the block of the business model canvas. For example, uh, if you are an individual producer, it could be useful to have a cooperation strategy for breaking down costs that, that generally are uh, higher for individuals, improving qualities and define promotional and educational activities. If you are a cooperative of producers, uh, you can expand the areas in which you practice cooperation and so 
maybe not only sharing uh, um, um, some uh, um, cost, but also for uh, social initiatives. Uh, for example, about um, customer relationship, uh, if you are an online and offline marketplace, you can involve customers as uh, online and offline ambassadors, for example. Then we provide also for some recommendation connected to the coronavirus pandemic situation, uh, such as improve online sales channels also for small local producers. Carefully choose your packaging because in home delivery, it is more important. Uh, please, next. Uh, okay, and then we also care of social and environmental aspects in uh, short food supply chains. And uh, to do this, we use this uh, adapted business model canvas uh, that is based on uh, this uh, Joyce and Packing uh, model. Um, and so, as you can see, the blocks are a little bit different, and this model shows the positive impact that the short food supply chain uh, can generate at local level. Uh, some examples about local community on your left, uh, you can involve the whole community in asking about their needs and ideas on food, uh, on transparency, for example, promoting co-design activities. And this um, could be very important in community supported agriculture, for example, about social culture. Um, you, you can partner with the tourism sector in order to foster the link between tradition, food, and the cultural heritage. About end users, um, it's important to keep the information about the, should, the short food supply chain very simple in order to engage all kinds of end users, also people that are not well educated. Uh, okay, please, the next. And this slide shows uh, tips uh, about environmental aspects. So as you can see, this kind of block, that, uh, of block adapted uh, is adapted to the environmental canvas and uh, shows uh, the positive impact that the short food supply chain can have, uh, can generate at local level from an environmental point of view. Some examples about materials, for example, use packaging only if necessary invest in new packaging methods, prefer bio sheets and compostable seeds in the production process because generally they are materials that you don't need uh, to remove from the ground. And so this is also useful to reduce the time of work. About uh, end of life, that is very strategic in this case, uh, improve performances for extending the shelf life and expiry date of products experiment composting activities. So producing a good quality compost uh, can help also to reuse the heat in the production process. And you can also practice community composting involving, for example, local administrators or other firms that are close uh, to, to the, the, the farm. Okay, thank you. The next. Yes, and this is the Smart Chain Project website and platform. The platform contains also a section that is dedicated to document and products. And so you can find there the whole version of our tools and of the, the guide. And these are our emails for, for contacts. Thank you for your attention. And we are, me and Marike are here for your comments, suggestions, or inputs. Thank you.